What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see I'm at an RV show here in Reno right outside the GSR resort and I've been thinking that I need a toy hauler. I got a family of five, three kids, me and a wife and some toys and I'm thinking a toy hauler is what we need. As much as I'd want a little overlanding rig I think a toy hauler would fit us right now. So this is a Rogue R by Forest River. There's your toy hauler ramp in the back. Dual axle. Looks like they're inverted, so they're a little high off the ground. Nice big steps. Some storage in the front. Double propane tanks with a battery up here. Very nice. It's got the old school siding. Decent sized door. I like this ramp though, like this uh, step. It's a nice big old heavy duty step but here's what I really like you get a queen size bed or close to a queen anyways that's cool some storage over there on the side nice headroom My wife would love this bathroom you got a black tank toilet sink to brush your teeth wash your face vanity window and a nice little separate shower. That's nice. I like that. Let's see if I can fit in here. Yep. I fit in here, no problem. Love it. I don't like wet baths. I like those little separate showers. That's cool. I like this fridge. Freezer, fridge, nice and big. Some storage up top. Microwave, three burner propane stove with the oven so you can bake cakes and the pizza. Nice sink, deep, big sink with a residential faucet. Storage up top, storage on the bottom. There's your heater. And here's the part I like too with toy haulers. You can put all the kids on the bed, put more people here on the bottom. These turn into a bed as well so you can sleep maybe four maybe even six people depending on how big they are and then you can fold these out of the way and put your toys in here so you can put a side by side in here if it's small enough motorcycles dirt bikes e-bikes uh, e we have a lot of e-bikes this would be fantastic and you got a lot of headroom because it's a toy hauler love it and this one is 37,999. That's nice. Look, it even has storage underneath the bed, too. Very cool. I like this one. I think it says it has a solar package as well. So, solar, you got food, a place to sleep. You got your vehicles in here. This is a nice little shelter slash bug out vehicle, too, I think. This is nice. So this is what I'm talking about. It's a small toy hauler, but it's packed with a lot of features. Dual axles, tall roof. It's got the flat siding, dual propane tanks, batteries, awning. There's your outside power source. This is by... Uh, I guess it's called the Attitude. I don't know who makes this. This is cool though. I like this. Attitude Toy Haulers. It's got a little bit more lightweight steps. I'm not a big fan of these, but they're serviceable. Here's a look at the door. Enough to get the job done. And I like this layout. Well, there's the price right out the gate. $45.9. It's actually not too bad considering it's brand spanking new and it's in a market that's kind of elevated and i like this layout look queen size bed nice room for mom and dad storage up top the side window you can put the tv right here that's nice and then storage storage and a full bath an actual dry bath so you have a tub like a mini tub for washing dogs or small kids shower let's test it out 
Yep, I can fit. I'm about 5'9", with no shoes on. I like it. There's your black tank flushable toilet. Little looks like stainless steel type uh, little sink there to brush your teeth, wash your face. Medicine cabinet, nice. Storage for your toilet paper, your towels. I like that. I like that a lot. It's efficient use of space there. Bed, bathroom. Nice size fridge. There's your freezer for your ice and your ice cream and stuff. A couple days worth of food. There's your heater down there, it looks like. Three burner propane stove. You got an oven for pizzas. Microwave up top. Storage. Storage. Nice big sink. I like how they're doing these big sinks because it's easier to wash your dishes now. If you have a big pan for cooking potatoes and eggs, it's easier to wash them in a bigger sink. Residential sink. I like that. Nice and tall. Storage below. Storage on the side. This is nice, man. Look at that. Lots of room. And these toy haulers have a lot of headroom. Toy haulers are always usually taller than normal RVs. I like this. There's your control panel to check the uh, tanks. Fresh water, gray water, black water, batteries, all that good stuff. Turn on the uh, pumps and the heaters. Here's your audio rock, Rockford Fosgate audio sound system. Cool. More storage there. You have a, looks like you have a little table here with some cool captain's chairs. I don't think I would bring these with me camping because uh, I'd have my side by side right here if I had one. But here's another thing I love about these toy haulers, man, especially when you have a family. Big, huge queen size bed up top. Fit three kids up there, and you still have room for two more adults in the bottom. That's already five people that can sleep on this side comfortably, not including mom and dad over here. So you could easily fit six, maybe seven people in here. This is nice, man. During the day, you still have this big lounging area with the table and the couches. That is just the abs that's just awesome, man. I love this. And that's why I like these two for dual purpose. These are not only fun for the family. But it makes a great shelter for emergencies. If you had to use this as your bug out shelter up in the mountains, up in the hills somewhere, this is like a house on wheels. It's got an AC unit. You can put some solar packages on here, I'm sure. And then uh, this thing would be pretty much off grid. I don't know how big the tanks are, the water tanks, but I'm sure they got to be at least 20, 20 gallons. I'm sure you can look it up on the website. But yeah, that's nice, man. $45,000. I love this setup, man. This is what I want right here. And I really like the fact that it's dual axle. But yeah, that's nice. Attitude toy haulers. Very cool.